Part of the Mercedes maintenance is changing the cabin air filters on the car, which are located just under the hood. There's three of them, and it's a really easy job to do, and you save quite a bit of money, which we're going to show you at the end. So let's get started. All three filters are just behind a couple of covers found on the passenger side of the engine compartment. This first one, all it is held in by is tension, so you can just push back and pull it up and out, set it aside. The second one is held in by three clips, which are right here. You're just going to flick those up and then shimmy this one out. And voila, there is your filter. The first filter is held in just by four tabs and it's a really flexible piece, so you just pull it right on out. Now the next two filters are located under the windshield and they're right there. So the first filter you're going to want to take out is this one. And I'll tell you why in just a second, but be really careful because this little piece of metal is sharp and this plastic is sharp. So you'll just want to grab the pleats in the front and try to shimmy it on out. It takes just a little bit of effort to get that on up. And then you're going to just want to pull it out like that. To take the second one out, you're just going to want to slide it over to that empty space you just created and then pull it on out. The reason that we had to slide the filter over is because of these two holes on the filter. They are lined up with these pins right here on the inside. And that's what makes it a little bit harder. But we got a couple of filters that have slots in it and we'll show you how it makes it a lot easier. When you're shopping for filters, make it easy on yourself and find filters with slots in it and not holes. So that way when you're putting the filter back in, you're not trying to line it up to the pins that are in there, but you can just set it on top. It makes it a lot easier. So let's put this first one in. You'll just wanna slide it in. And it takes a little finagling, but if, once you get that front part down and then you can kind of slide it around and then it fits right in. Let me talk you through a few things that are going to pose a challenge to just because of the space issue. Putting in the second one, there's a lip around the outer edge you're going to contend with and this second filter here. So you're going to want to push this one aside a little bit and guide the other one in and try to get the first edge at an angle around this lip. Let's get started. So you want to go in at a pretty good angle and get both your hands in there and try not to hurt yourself because there's a lot of sharp edges in there. But you'll just guide it in as best you can and just start finagling around to get that filter in. Stopping filming for that. And eventually, they're in together. And as a final step, you'll want to just kind of feel around and make sure you've got a good seal around all the edges so that it, there's a good fit. Just like that. On this last filter, just make sure that you keep in mind that these arrows need to be facing the other filters that are going to be in the car. So make sure that this goes in properly. These tabs on the top are longer than the ones on the bottom, so you'll want to put it in the exact opposite way at the beginning of the video. You'll put these in first on the top and then guide in the bottom just like that. Now let's put on our first cover. Um, the bottom of it has a couple of tabs that you'll want to be aware of. So feed it, just put it in, feed it down straight as best you can like that and it should fit right in. And you'll just click your little tabs back on. All three of them. All right, now the last cover you'll put on has three tabs at the back that you'll just want to make up line up with these holes here. And so all you'll do is you'll just slip it in and it pops right into place. And that's it. Now let's go see how much money we've saved. The dealership quoted me around $190 to do this job but I would have to drive to the dealership, wait, and then drive back home. Instead, I was able to buy filters online for around $54 plus shipping, 
And the job only took around 10 to 12 minutes, uh, which is a really quick and easy job. And then I was able to have the satisfaction of doing it myself and save probably about $140, which is what Pink Caddy Garage is all about, fixing it yourself and saving some money. So I hope you enjoyed watching.